Welcome to our first episode of Transfer Tuesday. I am JPR Instagram Manager, Myra Bravo, and I am here with transfer student and PR major, Christina Ledesma. Christina, thank you so much for joining us today. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Can you tell us a bit about your journey as a transfer student? Yeah, so I started out um, at El Camino Community College in 2020. I was an administration of justice student and it honestly just wasn't my thing. Um, so I was looking at other options, other career options and PR I stumbled upon. I don't even know how I couldn't tell you, <laughs> but I ended up choosing PR, which then led me to look at schools where I could transfer to that was that had a public relations department and that was good and it was known and that's how I it got me to Long Beach and what were your initial expectations about Long Beach when you decided to transfer and how would you say that they compare to your actual experience here so I guess the first thing that comes to mind is I was I wanted to get out of my comfort zone I that was my first goal um it was probably like my only goal throughout the first couple of months or my first year on in all honesty um because I feel like I didn't get that opportunity right off the bat after graduation or after graduating high school I ended up seeing my peers get that opportunity so just seeing them flourish and step out they stepped stepped out of their comfort zone and they just flourished into these beautiful human beings and I'm and I wanted that and I wanted to experience that so I guess coming into Long Beach I just really wanted to make new friends and actually get involved in in campus activities which I ended up doing. Can you speak more on that? What are the extracurricular activities or clubs that you're involved in and how would you say they've enriched your college life? Yeah, so I'm a part of PRSSA and NAHJ and Day in Español. I'm their social media manager, and it's my current internship um, for the semester. And in all honesty, after joining all three of them, especially PRSSA, like it really gave me a sense of community. I built connections. I've met lifelong friends because of it, and it's honestly been my support system throughout my two years at Long Beach and I'm very grateful that I took that step forward and in all honesty that's how I stepped out of my comfort zone like I wanted to put myself out there in any way that I could and by joining these programs I met my friends and I yeah they're my support system and I'm very grateful. I love that. And as a fellow member of PRSSA and NHJ, I can say that I fully agree with that. Can you share your plans or goals for the future? So this past summer, actually, I interned at Modern Currency PR, and it was my first ever internship. And it was in the hospitality and luxury travel industry, which I had no clue about, like, <laughs> legit, I had no clue. And I honestly fell in love with it. I fell in love with it right off the bat. And um, I actually ended up getting um, offered an extension of my internship for next spring. And I actually got a job offer, offer, which I'm very, very grateful for. And I'm very proud of myself for achieving because it was my first ever internship. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. And yeah, I'm very very grateful and um yeah and I love modern currency that is so exciting congratulations thank you lastly do you have any tips or insights for students considering transferring to Long Beach yeah okay well <laughs> I have a couple but they're a little basic if you if some people might say um but I would say get a planner everyone transferring to any four-year get a planner and stay organized and it's the only way to stay on top of your deadlines your homework assignments your quizzes your midterm exams and 
if you're going to get involved in campus activities, you're going to, you know, have meetings or have events to go to. And just by color coding and having a planner, you're going to stay on top of it and you're going to succeed. Like for sure, it's probably the secret sauce to like owning college. I'm not even going to lie. Um, and I would say another tip is to stay true to yourself because that's really all you could do to really have the full college experience. Stay true to yourself and trust yourself and, you know, just take care of yourself throughout the semester. I know it can get hard and it can get a little bit rocky, but in all honesty, if you take care of yourself and you stay on top of your deadlines, it's going to be great and it's going to be a fantastic experience. Christina, thank you so much for sharing your experience with us and best of luck in all of your future endeavors. Thank you so much.